everybody. Hi, everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Travel here. No cost glam. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. And today we want to try to brighten up and lighten up the mood a little bit, guys, as we creep and crawl ever so closer to that grand, beautiful day when we start cruising again. Yes, I cannot wait. We're getting one day closer to normalcy and we will be there in no time. All right, everybody. So today we're going to run through real quick. Guys, we want to talk about what are currently the 10 most expensive cruise ships in the world. We hope you enjoy the footage. If you would, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know you love this video and you love videos like this. Make sure you enjoy the footage. Also, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And if you are ready to travel, please call us at 877-697-4470 or you can reach us at www.mrdashtraveler.com. Okay, let's get back. All right, guys, coming in at number 10. You know, this girl has an indoor rotating spiral staircase Ooh. yeah can't do better than that <laughs> it also has a bar that goes up and down on the side of the ship <laughs> we're talking about the celebrity edge she could take on 2918 passengers and 1377 crew all by herself Ooh, she's big and large in the charge she comes in at 1004 feet long and is a beautiful addition to the celebrity family soon to be joined by the celebrity apex all right guys so in my opinion she offers all the usual leisure and recreation amenities that you expect of a billion dollar cruiser That'll be me and my husband one day. <laughs> I really love the sleek look of the Celebrity Edge. It's modern day hall with the big X in the aft of the ship. She is going to be large and in charge on the ocean. I cannot wait to ride. Yes, beautiful ship. And Celebrity does food like nobody else. All right, guys. Number nine. Number, number nine. nine. All right, everybody. So, and actually, I'm going to call number nine a tie because number nine belongs to the Norwegian Bliss. Ooh, the Norwegian Bliss. Uh, but of course, her sister ship who we just rode on, the Norwegian Encore, also came in at a billion dollars, just like the Norwegian Bliss did. They are sister ships, they are virtually identical in all their glorious amenities on board. I'm not trying to be partial, but that is my favorite <laughs> cruise line. Yes, indeed it is. And so uh, she can hold 4,000 passengers and 1,700 crews. So this girl holds a lot of people. Uh, its signature item is the huge, huge observation deck, which is great when it does the Alaskan cruising. Floor to ceiling windows that encompass half the ship on one of the upper decks. Absolutely beautiful. And I know uh, my honey bunny loves all the beautiful Beautiful water park features on board the ship and the racetrack and the yes what I really love about the Bliss is that it has an 800 seat theater and it gives you plenty of room to see the entertainment and it has a two-story go-kart track and I really enjoyed that on the Encore so I cannot wait to ride it on the Bliss yeah we saw some fabulous shows on board the theater and uh, the laser tag feature was pretty cool too and so was the um, and the state-of-the-art virtual reality games on both of these vessels absolutely fabulous great time for all the family number eight number eight ladies and gentlemen it's the msc bellissima the bellissima i love msc i really enjoyed it and i love that they have a different type of white party yes they are they're beautiful yeah yes indeed yeah msc has some very unique ships and of course their world famous swarovski crystal stairs are always a grand element on each one of their ships their ships are just blinked out. MSC Bellissima will not disappoint. Beautiful, beautiful vessel. Mm -hmm. The MSC Bellissima comes in at a whopping one billion, just like the other ships. What I like about MSC, especially the Bellissima, is when you enter the ship, it's the wow factor. Everything is the worst of crystal. It just gives you the bling vibes. I really love it. All right. Well, since we're talking about MSC, let's move on to the MSC. A Meraviglia. If you want to watch that video, it'll be linked right here. Absolutely. We just got off the MSC Meraviglia not too long ago. And at the time of her uh, maiden voyage back in June 2017, she was the fourth largest cruise ship in the world. She's large. She's in charge. She holds 4,500 passengers with 1,536 crew members. Yeah, absolutely beautiful ship. And again, those Swarovski crystals. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, number six on the list is... Number six. 
our overseas entry, the uh, Aida Nova. The Aida Nova holds so many people. Okay, so the Aida Nova or the Aida Nova, she has a capacity hold of 6,600 passengers. That is so many passengers with 1,500 crew members. When she was built, she took the fifth biggest luxury vessel in the world when she was built. That's not true anymore. <laughs> it's not just their size that's impressive. She got 17 restaurants, 23 bars, full service day spa, 360 degree theater. The Ada Nova comes in at a whopping 1.1 billion dollars and she is the first ship in the world to be powered by the liquefied natural gas the lng we like to recycle so we like that that's right cruising responsibly ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm. echo friendly number five we're coming back to the old norwegian we love norwegian it's the norwegian epic at 1.2 billion yes the norwegian epic now this is a uh, true story I hear. Most of the Norwegian ships were built in Germany. This particular one was built in France. And the decor inside the ship is very unique in that a lot of the staterooms have this curved wall design, which is really, really cool. When this ship came out, we definitely had to be one of the people on board the ship, and we definitely sailed her, and we had a wonderful time. What I love about the Epic is the recreation, entertainment, and all the options for the food was incredible. I really love this ship, but it had a unique setup for the bathroom. <laughs> yes, indeed it did. But it was a beautiful ship. I remember being on some other cruises when that ship first came out, and it looks it looked like a building on the water. Uh, just It's got a very kind of boxy design, uh, but it's a very beautiful ship and very elegant on the inside. Lots to do, very family friendly. I can't wait to ride again. Oh boy, here we go. Number four. Number four. Coming in at a whopping 1.35 billion with a B. Woo, that's a lot of cheddar. The Harmony of the Seas. Oh yeah, at 1188 feet long. She is a big girl. She is beautiful, holding 6,687 passengers and 2,200 crew. Oh my god, that's a small city. <laughs> She makes us look very small when we sell her. <laughs> yeah, she's a beautiful ship, guys. There is so much to do that you can barely see it all in seven days. If you're doing a week-long cruise, there's something for everybody. From theaters, sport courts, restaurants, from stem to stern, zip line, anything you can think of is on the ship. Oh, and she's so beautiful. Harmony Seas is number four. Number four. Oh, here we go, guys. And her sister, her sister, and... Mr. Mr. Traveler's, Traveler's favorite ship. ship. Symphony of the Seas. <laughs> Symphony of the Seas coming in at $1.35 billion. And I helped them pay a little bit of that off. <laughs> <laughs> she also comes in at 1188 feet in length. Uh, 1100 tons. This is a huge, huge ship. 6,680 passengers, 2,200 crew. So it holds a, a few more people. She is currently the largest ship in the world okay her amenities is eager for me to try and i have to boast about them 43 foot rock climbing walls two, of them. <laughs> two of them children's water park ice skating ring 22 count them restaurants and a multitude of sports courts yeah, don't forget about all the fabulous pools, the Flow Rider. We love the um, we love the Wonderland experience uh, at the restaurant, which gives you a very unique culinary experience. We definitely recommend that to anybody who sails. You have to try uh, some of the Oasis class ships. Absolutely beautiful. You have to try it. Number two. Number two. The girl who started it all. Oasis of the Seas coming in at one point four billion. So that, that is kind of telling you right there. This was the first of the Oasis class ships, hence the name. And it was the most expensive. So uh, obviously they figured out somewhere uh, somewhere along the line how to build them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though she's an oldie but goodie, can you believe her maiden voyage was 18 years ago already? Wow, 18 years ago the Oasis came out? Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Seems like it was just yesterday. Boy, time flies. This beautiful, beautiful lady holds 6780 guests, 2200 crew members. Woo. Same kind of options there. Multiple restaurants, many theaters, multi-deck dance venues. I got the ice skating rink. Mm -hmm. Again, guys, there's just so much to do you on this ship. never be bored. You cannot do it all in one seven-day cruise. 
the cost of this extravagance cost 1.4 billion. All right, everybody. Number one. Number, number one. one. We finally made it. Coming in at 1.5 billion dollars. That's what it be. <laughs> you know, we had to do the. I would say it's not a trifecta. It's a quattrofecta. <laughs> The number four of the <laughs> Oasis class ships, <laughs> the allure of the seas. Yes. Oh, yes, guys. So, you know, we actually had the privilege and honor to be on board the allure of the seas uh, when the Harmony of the Seas was built. And the allure, the Harmony, and the Oasis all met up off the shore, right offside uh, between Fort Lauderdale and the Port of Miami. And all three ships cruised together. And it was a wonderful, fabulous time. And all, you know, the Oasis class ships, I can't say enough good things about them. Me either. Uh, they are huge ships, but they manage to crowd well. Mm -hmm. uh, the space is laid out very well. It seems like when you sell the Oasis class ships, it could be to where you're on an intimate cruise, yet with a lot of people, but it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, and that's one thing that they have perfected through the years. I do recall when the Oasis first came out, we would see her in port, and there used to be some really long lines for that for people getting back on board the ship. And it was one of the things that made me nervous about sailing it. Uh, but they have got that down to a science now, and they do it very well. You get on and off the ship really no different than you do any other cruise ship that you've been on. Um, so they have learned how to control the crowds well on board these ships. They are really laid out well, guys. The elevators are in perfect locations. So it never seems that you really walk that far, even though the ship is, uh, is massive. She's incredible. I have to give it up to the engineers that created this mega ship. She is awesome. She is huge. It gives space for everyone. If you are going with a family, you have a family reunion coming up you got an anniversary a birthday i would recommend an oasis class ship if you want to have some fun you want to run your legs off and not be bored try the oasis class ship you will love it yeah i can't wait to sail them again uh really looking forward to them you have some beautiful the the center if you've never been on the center the ships are hollowed out uh, with a couple of different neighborhoods at the back end of the ship yeah. is the boardwalk venue uh, which does have a carousel feature in there some some restaurants and of course the iconic uh, aqua theater that's at the, my favorite at the back of the ship is absolutely breathtaking show yes. the the skills that these divers and acrobats have and uh, and towards the center of the ship still open to the elements is the central park set uh, version uh, of, of the ship and it and it does mimic the central park uh, like in New York, it's a beautiful uh, stroll through the park, real yeah. trees, there's, real actually, grass. there's actually birds that have hijacked themselves on board I the ship. I have no <laughs> idea how they got there, but there are birds inside there. <laughs> real grass, there's plants, there's real, so many, so many good things. You have to try it. Yeah, the Oasis class ships are definitely a thumbs up for the Mr. Traveler family. We hope you enjoyed these suggestions today. Please comment below and let us know what was your favorite one. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for joining us for the 10 most expensive cruise ships in the world. Can't see, wait to see what they come out with next in the future and cannot wait to get back on board one of these beautiful ships real soon. Life short. Have fun, guys. See the world. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.